my love. Where are we? How about we do a toast? A beautiful toast. Two different drinks with the same color. So what? We're excited about Barbara. We just had the most amazing engagement. <laughs> so we're celebrating. Very nice and quiet. Whatever the best time in the world. Yes, the best time. To the best times. Hey guys and welcome back well tamar has went on instagram again this time praising her boyfriend david adifiso for um saving her life now uh tamar wrote i came here just to say this and then i'm logging off if you have ever been in recovery or treatment you know that you reflect on a lot of things so i couldn't let another day another second go by without publicly Thanking my love at David Adefisa for saving my life. I'm so grateful. I was in our home lifeless, and I'm sure finding me that way didn't come easy for you. But now that people are coming out at you saying all this crazy stuff isn't easy for me. People have called you every name in the book to deflect from what's really going on. But through this entire time, you have held my hand, heard my cries, held me when I have been weak. You have had my entire back. I will not allow anyone to call you controlling or that's that African man. I like, I don't have a mind of my own because without this African man, I simply would not be here. Everything is a political and your love for me is not that. You were here for me when nobody was and still is. Mm -hmm. Now, some people gave Tamar kudos and David kudos for being there and loving her and da 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 da. But, you know, there were some negative reactions as well. Now, one person said, I think she should take a long break from social media and the spotlight. What she attempted to do is not okay, and she needs to take time away from her toxic surroundings to get help. Mm -hmm. Now, another commenter said, the fact that she was okay with leaving her baby basically over what she claims is happening to her in the entertainment world is not okay, and she needs help. Get off social media. <laughs> Now one Instagram share, Tamar, you didn't know us this. We just want you to get better for you and your son. Many blessings and love. Okay, so you want my uh, take on this? Well, if you don't, here goes. Now, if you don't want to hear what I'm going to say about what I think is going on, I'm going to give you time to uh, sign off. Now, if you don't want to hear it, sign off now. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. For the ones who want to hear it, this is my take on this. I mean, you know, the Braxton's supposed to be such a close and knit family. And, um, you know, Tamar is not even talking about her family. Now, what she did point out, I think, was a jab at her family. Because remember when she was in uh, the hospital, uh, a source said that the family was saying that David was controlling. So when she threw that out there, I will not have them say you. you know, she's talking about her family. And something is wrong. I mean, since she's been with David, she has definitely did a disconnect from her family. You know, I mean, when I heard about her uh, trying to uh, commit suicide, you would have thought her family would have came on and said, oh, y'all, pray for Tamar. Tamar is in uh, a bad shape or what? The, her family literally didn't say nothing. I mean, even Evelyn didn't say nothing. And, you know, they did go on. The sisters went on um, their Instagrams and said, pray for our family, you know. And, uh, you know, that, that much. But nobody said anything. And even... Uh, Trina was on some show and they were asking her about what happened and Trina just said I don't know what happened I'm like you guys I don't know so there is something going on there I mean 
Come on. I think this David is toxic for her. And I believe that he is controlling her. Because remember, the source said that the family said they didn't understand why he went on 911 call. And was talking about she was committing suicide and that we TV. Um, she was having problems with TV. You know, and I, I would hate to think that he has made her do all this so that she can get out of her contract with we TV, which I hear that we TV is uh, going to let her out of contract, but they are going to show the reality show. You know, I mean, because I mean that was Tamar, and and even we TV said, "Hey, this is Tamar. We didn't have anything to do with it. She did this show, so to do a show, and then I mean, you knew what you did on the show, and then after the show is." ready to, you know, commit to more money and all of that. I mean, you should have had someone with you when you uh, made that contract with uh, WeTV. I mean, you know, I, so I, you know, I hate to think because this is, her family knew nothing about this uh, suicide attempt and they have not spoken out about it. That has me thinking, and I'm sorry, guys, but I don't know. David might have set up all this, you know. And with the the first Instagram she came out after after her hospitalization, I mean, it it sounds like maybe David had wrote this for her, you know. Now this one she may have wrote, but that other one, hmm. So I don't know if David did this so she could get out of that contract. And, you know, I, I don't know, but I, I don't have a good feeling about David. I mean, even though she's praising him, but check this out, y'all. Y'all remember a couple of months ago, I think it was like the first of the year, she had wrote a post about David being a um, crook and took her money. And then the next couple of days, she was like, oh, everything's okay. She erased that Instagram so, I just don't have good vibes about this David. And, you know, I truly, take my knees help. So, it would not be hard for someone to manipulate someone dealing with a, a, a mental illness. So, I don't know if he's manipulating uh, Tamar and keeping her away from her family. But for the Braxton not to come out and talk about this and her not... You know, giving him praise and saying nobody came to her rescue. Like, her family wasn't there for her. Nobody's there for her but David. Something doesn't smell right. Mmm. So, uh, that's my theory on all this. I wouldn't be surprised if David uh, conjured up all this. And uh, he's uh, being the author of uh, this whole suicide attempt. I don't know, but it just doesn't, it's, it's not, it's not setting right. Hmm, how do y'all feel about this? Am I the only one that think David is shady and that David has really uh, made Tamar disconnect from her family for her to say something like that, that David is the only one for her, been there for her, you know, hmm, giving no praise to her family. So I don't know, but I want to hear what you think. Press that comment button and we will discuss. And you know, on this station, we agree to disagree. So if you disagree with me, I still want to hear from you. I still want to hear what you think. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always in parting, be blessed, y'all.